What's going on people? So I was doing some videos earlier today. Maybe you saw some of those, maybe you didn't, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I overlooked this box, kind of forgot about it. The Slam Crate from, I guess this month, maybe? I don't know. It's been sitting over here for a while now, so I figured, let me go ahead and open this up while all the stuff is still out, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, otherwise, as far as wrestling things go, just finished that Impact pay-per-view, Hard to Kill, that just went off a few minutes ago. It was, it was pretty alright. The only problem, I guess, and it's mostly because I don't watch it, is like, I don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? So I could only get so into it. But from what I saw, it seemed to be pretty alright. Just, you know, there's no personal investment when you don't know the people. So anyways, let's go ahead and get on into this. So first up right here, we've got a Claymore shirt. I only saw that as a pulling up. It says Claymore Country. So, I'll be honest, not a huge Drew McIntyre fan. You know, I've got nothing against the guy. I saw him at a at an independent thing. I think he was tagging with Johnny Gargano or something. It's like 2016 because it was the Dallas WrestleMania. But, yeah, I don't know. And then on the back, they have this. That's one thing that I noticed about the recent shirts from these Slam Crates. They got that big Slam Crate thing on the back. That, I'm not a fan of. And then there's this, whatever's in this box. It says The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, Salt and Pepper Shakers. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it sounds like it should be. We're gonna find out in a second if it really is. I almost bought some Spider-Man and Venom uh, Salt and Pepper Shakers a while ago, but I don't buy salt nor pepper. So I was like, you know what? Maybe that wouldn't make sense. So you're probably thinking like, do you just not season your food? I don't. All right, so there you go. Well, I'm not going to show you that on there. I'll show you with this, though. I'll get some pictures in there or something. But yeah, these are looking pretty decent. So, I mean, they're looking about as decent as I would expect. I'll, I'll say that. Nothing amazing, but hey, it is what it is. And now this. This is the part to open here. Let's see what's in this little plastic bag. Something's going on outside, which thankfully is outside and not in here. What is this thing supposed to be? It's like a flag type of thing, I guess, some kind of patch. I'm not quite sure. Somewhere around here should be one of those tags that tells you what all's in this thing, but whatever that is. It's from this past, well, I guess last year's WrestleMania 36, so the one that nobody went to. And then you have this here, so it's got a slam crate pin. What is that? Oh, that's just the world title. I got to hold that thing up once at, um, well, the, what did Kofi have? I met Kofi Kingston at Comic-Con in 2018, you know, when he had the title. So I got to hold up the thing, take a picture, all that stuff. And then this, it's a Superstar Legend decal. So I like Shawn Michaels. I do. He's one of my favorites. I am not going to make any use of this. I am like... 99.9% .9 sure. I just don't see what I would do with it. And this says, please enjoy your April 2020 WrestleMania 36 Slam Crate. This is about the cheapest piece of trash I have ever seen in my life. Look at this thing. It's like they just printed off a bunch of them and then probably had some poor person have to like cut them up. Man, that's, that's kind of, kind of trashy in my opinion. And then this, some Happy Holidays from Loot Crate thing. I thought I had seen a something in here that was going to say what all this stuff was. Because I'm curious what this patch thing is, but whatever. Either way. And then there's the inside of the box. They're kind of designed in some sort of way. But yeah, so there's that. Personal opinion, underwhelming. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I kind of think these salt pepper shaker things are alright. But, again... Me being me, I have no use for them. I just like them. And then, yeah, that was the that was the highlight of the crate, I guess. But while we're here, I'm also gonna open up this bag here. Some shirts that I bought from the rest from WWE.com, the Shop Zone. Do they still call it the Shop Zone? I'm not really sure. But that's what I remember it being called many years ago. So let's just go ahead and jump on into this so I can wrap this video up. There must have been a sale or something, because there's a lot more shirts in here than I would normally buy. So, looks like this one's going to be something about Seth Rollins. Let's go ahead and 
Oh yeah, so it's tank top I picked up. Which one is this? This the Slayed the Beast, Slayed the Beast, Burned It Down. All right, fair enough. This one here. This, I do remember picking up this Iconic shirt because I figured since they were running out of sizes that I should just jump on it now. Otherwise I'll have to wait, there's the back, for them to bring it back as a retro thing, which who knows when that would happen. Hopefully they, they start being a thing again because I haven't been watching, but I just feel like they need each other. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Moving right along, we've got this here, What the Fun House. So this was also one of those shirts that was running out of sizes, and so had to jump in while I could, you know? And moving, moving, moving. This right here. So Bam Bam Bigelow, right? A lot of people remember this guy. I certainly do. So this is one of those things where, actually, they... Part of the reason that I made this order now that I see this shirt is because I needed a Bam Bam Bigelow shirt, or at least Chris Candido, which I have a Chris Candido shooter over there. You know, the whole triple threat thing, there's a... When I do my little shoe things, I often wear shirts that go along with them, and there's a triple threat coming up, wink wink. So triple threats, right? I don't have a Shane Douglas shirt, but I also don't really want one, so it's between those two. And then we have this, we're going to end here with this Macho Man Randy Savage shirt. So there's that. That's everything that I picked up. And we're good. So, for me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll probably slip a picture in, but I did also buy a Macho Man figure today. It's just not within arm's reach. So I'll throw that in somewhere. But yeah, later people.